Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, and I feel like I should actually be saying good morning. Welcome to my homeschooling mom. That's what we wanna call me, morning routine. No, I, I am a homeschooling mom, but I obviously only have Logan and he's three. My morning routines have changed a lot over the years and I haven't done one of these videos in a long time so I could be vibing wrong here but I feel like you guys would like to see this video so I hope that you enjoy it and this is where I'm at right now with my son with my personal health and my health journey before we hop right in if you do like this video please consider giving it a thumbs up it really helps to support my channel and leave me a comment down below because I love reading your guys's comments last but definitely not least I want to give a special shout out to all of my patrons thank you so much to those of you that have already gone over to check out my patreon um, and to those of you that don't know my patreon is where I upload exclusive content I tend to get a little more personal over there and I just really appreciate the conversations and the community that we've grown over there so I will link that down below if you want to check it out and with all of that being said let's hop right in okay so I've talked about this a little bit before probably in a Q&A and if you follow me on patreon you've actually seen me make a whole video about this but our family is like partially a co-sleeping family so we don't necessarily go to sleep together at night but every night between anywhere from like 11 p.m. and 2 a.m. Logan makes his way into our bedroom and Dan and I absolutely love that. I was just telling my mom this the other day when she drove me home from physical therapy. I was saying that this season I'm very aware and so is Dan. It's going to be very short. It's going to go by very fast. So these morning cuddles with Logie and of course Zoe are already holding precious real estate in my mind. So we're usually awake anywhere between 6 and 8 a.m., which I know is kind of a wide range, but a lot of it at this point has been dependent on when Logan wakes up or when either of us naturally wake up if it's before him and make our way out. But oftentimes we all wake up around the same time and usually I'd say the average is like 6:40. we love just hanging out in bed and cuddling chatting about what's coming in the day and sometimes I even listen to an audiobook for a little bit in bed while we're relaxing and on this morning I know this is really random but I was listening through this Anne Bradstreet biography on the Canon Plus app. The irony is I'm listening to that biography currently, and then I'm also listening to Jessica Simpson's autobiography, so, <laughs> which is really good and made me cry the other night, by the way. Okay, so while we're talking about bedding, I have to give a shout out to American Blossom Linens. So I recently received these 100% organic cotton sheets made completely here in America. I feel like it's so rare now to find a product that is completely made here in the USA and is also organic. And guys, I needed new sheets so badly. I had been wanting to switch them out for a while because they were made with a synthetic fabric and definitely not organic. We have a really clean mattress, but like I said, we had been wanting to change out our sheets for a while. When we first put the sheets on, one of the things that we noticed was how generously sized the sheets are. They had extra deep pockets and there was definitely a noticeable difference between these and our old sheets. They also just felt durable and really well made. One thing that American Blossom Linen says is that they guarantee their bedding and bath products because they know everyone who touches them, from the family farmer, to the spinner, to the weaver, and the sewing machine operator. They know all of them. The relationship that they have with their team means that they care about the products that you're gonna get, and their care means that they're going to last. And because they last, you don't need an endless supply of bedding and bath linens. When you choose American American Blossom, you are choosing American quality. I'm serious, every night that we've been climbing into bed, I'm like sighing with how comfortable I am. So if you wanna check out their organic bedding and bath linens, they actually gave me a 20% off discount code. So if you wanna try them out, you can use my code Nikki20 like I said, for 20% off. And thank you, American Blossom Linens, not only for sending over the sheets, but for continuing to provide 
quality products made here in America and for linking arms with other artisans and providing jobs. Very cool, I'm very passionate about that. So link down below. Then as you can see, we made my bed. Now making my bed can sometimes be quite the ordeal because Logan wants to just jump on it while I'm making it. But on this morning, he did not make the job too difficult. By the way, I've been making my bed differently lately because I find myself sitting in my bed randomly throughout my day to like ice my knee or whatever. I've just been sitting in my bed more during the day, so I've been making it differently. You can probably tell that. Then around Christmas time, we actually brought some twinkle lights into the bathroom that we just kind of threw around the mirror and around my oil shelf and I plugged those in. I ended up putting some orange essential oil into my diffuser. I still really like running a bathroom and a kitchen diffuser during the daytime. And so, like I said, I diffused some orange. Then I rolled a little bit of the Valor essential oil blend on my wrists, which is still a favorite of mine. By the way, if you're ever interested in checking out any of the Young Living essential oils, I will have information for that down in the info box as well. Then, because we're calling this like a goals morning routine, I decided to do some oil pulling. Now, I don't do oil pulling every day of the week. Um, honestly, this is a newer thing that I'm trying to re-implement back into my life because I did it for a little while a few years ago. I use coconut oil and I'm lucky to get it in a couple days a week because it's literally the most disgusting thing ever. Like I'm trying to keep cool in my face because um, there's an aesthetic I'm going for, but legitimately... <laughs> It's so disgusting and I'm trying to not gag the whole time. So I opened up all of the windows around my house to let in the light. By the way, we recently put these shades from our old house in our office in our kitchen and I'm very happy to have them up. Then I spit out my coconut oil and legitimately tried to just not gag because um, that's when it's the grossest and then moved on with my morning. So at this point, it started to snow and I knew it was gonna start coming down heavily. Plus, just daily in the morning, I do like to ground and reset my frequency to the Earth's frequency. So I made my way out and then Logan and Dan made their way out to join me as well as we woo woo wee wah, reset our energy to match the Earth's energy. <laughs> Logan has really been into this Thumper book lately. These illustrations I think are beautiful. And so he read it a few times and then he had Dan read it to him. I continued to kind of like wake up the house. So I plugged in my twinkle lights because you guys know twinkle lights for life, honestly. And then I pulled out ingredients for a granola fruit and yogurt parfait. I did have to pause though and show you guys my giant pile of sourdough poppy seed muffins that I had left over. If you wanna see me make these, by the way, I baked them in my last video, and I ended up bringing like five into my physical therapists um, the following day, and they all loved them, so <laughs> reviews from my PTs. So I pulled out a few things that I wanted for my parfait, including this homemade granola, which I am going to go back in time and show you how I made this, because it's, legitimately amazing and so much better than store-bought granola, which is all I did for years. So I started off by chopping up my banana. Then I remembered that I really wanted some lemon water, which I actually wish I had done like right at the start of the day, but better late than never, right guys? So I pressed in a bunch of lemon juice into a glass of room temp water. I added in a couple drops of my minerals and then I just drank it while I prepared my yogurt bowl. So this morning we had Greek yogurt, organic Greek yogurt on hand. So I scooped that in a bowl and now we're going to go back in time to the night before to when I made this amazing maple date granola. So I started off by taking the pits out of my dates. I typically buy these dates at Costco, by the way. I really like these dates and then I also like Julie's dates, which you can buy at a lot of stores and even on Amazon. They're organic and both of those brands are delicious. Then after I chopped them up, I simmered them in a pot with some of my organic maple syrup, also from Kirkland, thanks Costco. And I cooked those up and reduced the maple syrup for like seven minutes and then smashed the dates with the back of a fork. Meanwhile, I scooped like two cups of oats in a bowl and I chopped up a bunch of almonds and pistachios. 
Then I added in a couple handfuls of sprouted pumpkin seeds, as well as some hemp hearts, and then a bunch of sesame seeds. I recently bought sesame seeds for just like a bunch of random things, and I've been loving them in this granola. So I added in a little bit of cinnamon, maybe half a teaspoon. And then at this point, I turned off the heat with my maple syrup and date mixture. I added in, I think like a tablespoon of olive oil, and then I think about half a tablespoon of vanilla extract. I will link the recipe down below that I follow the gist of. Um, it's not my exact recipe, like I don't follow it exactly, surprise, surprise, but that will guide you if you wanna check that out uh, as well. So then I poured my wet mixture off the stove into my dry oats and nut and seed mixture, and I massaged that all together with my spatula, and then I moved my granola mixture onto this parchment paper on a pan. I had the oven preheated, I wanna say for like 400 degrees, somewhere in that range, and I squished everything down till it was about half an inch thickness. I baked it for 10 minutes, and then when I pulled it out, I pushed everything from the outer edges to the inside of the dish or of the tray, the pan, whatever we wanna call it, and then I smushed everything back down again, and then this time, I laid some aluminum foil over the top just lightly, kind of tented over it. I baked it for another five minutes, took off the aluminum foil, and then folded the granola back in on itself. I believe that what this does is kind of keeps the granola from just cooking through in one section, but really gets the granola cooked all the way through. After it baked another five minutes, then I let it cool to room temp, packaged it up, and now here we are again the next morning with yogurt and raw honey, some extra hemp seeds just cause, the granola, and then of course the chopped bananas. And this was absolutely delicious. It was nice to mix up my fruit intake. I haven't had a banana in a minute. And Logan loved it as well. Logan is a huge yogurt fan. I actually wish I had left his granola separate because to be honest, I think he likes to eat his yogurt separate from his granola, but he still ate everything. It just took a little effort. It was delicious. I ate my yogurt, I drank my water, I took my vitamins, which I keep thinking about the fact that I do want to do a supplement video at some point. We'll see. Give me a second. It might be here. It might be on Patreon. Um, but yeah. So after I had eaten my breakfast, I decided that I wanted to have some iced tea, of course. So I ended up heating some hot water in a pot. No, I do not own a tea kettle anymore. I feel like some of you are going to be gasping and some of you are not going to be surprised. And I decided I wanted to mix these two flavors of tea. This is what I've been into lately. This has been like my go-to tea blend. So this Homestead Peach Tea from Winter Woods, which is a local company, who's actually a friend of one of my friends. So I feel like, you know, I just really like buying local when I can, guys. So that tea is actually herbal and I mix it with this stash tea, which is a green matcha tea with raspberry in it and pomegranate. It's so delicious. And so mixing all of these flavors together has just been making a tea that has been irresistible to me, guys. Then I made my way out to the garage, to the chest freezer to get some of our, we make our own ice cubes because it's really nice to know the water that's in your ice cubes. And so I bring out a full jar of ice and I poured my hot tea over my ice. And then I always reuse my tea bags. Like I end up refilling the whole jar up with water. And then honestly, a lot of times after a couple minutes, I will take that extra, like the tea, and then I will fill up another mason jar with some water and then let it sit for a few hours. And I end up getting like three cups of tea out of it. So hack. <laughs> so now we're making our way to my bathroom, which I have not filmed in my new bathroom very much since I've lived here. And I, I realize that I feel like there's a lot of stuff I haven't filmed since we've lived in this house, but we're still getting settled and that I feel like makes its way or affects my filming as well. As you can see, I clipped my bangs back and then I took off my frownies and on this morning I used my last little bit of my Nourish the Dermis Blue Tansy Tallow Whip. So my friend Sonia gifted this to me a couple of months ago. She actually gifted me two jars of this. And to say I'm obsessed would be an understatement. Like tallow feels so good on my skin. 
and this brand has incredible scents and it's very affordable, which my friend Sonia told me when she gave it to me. She's on, I, I said to her, like, I feel bad. She said, don't feel bad. It's very affordable. And I actually ended up buying a, another tub recently. So new jar coming soon. Anyways, that was a side tangent that wasn't really a side tangent because using tallow as skincare is fairly new to me. So at this point, we'll move on to my hair since you're about to see me doing my hair for a minute. I pulled out the braids that I had slept in the night before. I pretty much 100% of the time sleep with my hair in braids at night. Now, those braids kind of change, although it's usually one of two. I'm either doing a single braid when I'm really lazy that night, like tired, just one single braid, or my favorite way to kind of deal with my hair for the night is to do two pigtail braids, but they're braided in kind of a specific way, which as I'm saying this, I'm thinking I should probably show you guys if I end up filming a nighttime routine. Can I do that? I feel like I can do that. Let me know if you guys want to see that. Um, anyways, once I take my braids out, as you can see, I have some crimping in my hair. Now, I have a lot of natural crimping and kink. As you can see, like all of that in the back of my head is just my natural crimp, but it helps to add crimp to the areas that are maybe straighter and it just keeps everything under control too. If I slept with my hair down at night, my hair would be a nest and just completely ruined. I literally never do it. Um, and braids, like loose braids, I find are very good to like just not inflict more damage. So anyways, afterwards, as you can see, I take my wraparound curling iron and I literally just curl all of the pieces that I think look like they need more curl in opposite directions so all over my head i try to go like front back front back and not have too many pieces going the same way and once i've done that as you can see i just kind of flip my head over to smooth out run my fingers through my hair not smooth out actually floofs it out but run my fingers through the curls and that was my hair now i was not going to wear my hair fully down on this morning i just wanted to show you guys how i do it because it's been a minute since i've shown you and i find that i still get questions about my hair when I wear it down. Um, but I decided to also clip up my hair into a half up, half down situation so that I could do my physical therapy without my hair falling in my face. Fun fact, I've actually had accidents in my life from just my hair blocking my peripheral vision. So <laughs> safety first. I've become like scared of perfumes over the last seven years, I'd say six years. But Skylar is a clean perfume line that is sans a lot of kind of gross chemicals that I'm trying to currently avoid. All right, so you guys know my knee is currently messed up, but even prior to having this acute injury back in December where I dislocated my knee, it was actually crazy and the most painful thing I've ever been through. Um, but even before that, I was using this machine, which is called a Phoenix waveform. And it's essentially a muscle stimulating machine, but they also call it neurological training. I've explained it in the past, but I really don't even know how to find the words right now to explain what this machine does. But if you ever want to look up the Phoenix waveform or ARP wave therapy, they're very similar, ARP, you can kind of look into it. A lot of professional athletes will use this machine for recovery and just training in general. And it's actually really what's helped me kind of turn a corner over the last few years of my chronic pain. It's one of the elements I believe that has really helped me. So I hooked up this day only to my left leg. Normally for training, I do both legs because obviously I'm dealing with, you know, I want both legs to be evenly trained and I deal with injuries on both legs. But my left is obviously an acute injury that we need to like deal with right now. So I only zapped my left leg on this day and I wore my machine while I went through my set of physical therapy exercises. To anyone that's wondering, I am continuing, praise the Lord, to get better every day. I definitely still have quite the healing journey ahead of me, I can tell, but I also can tell that I am literally healing every single day. So I'm very grateful for that and I appreciate all of your prayers and your kind comments more than you guys know.
Okay, so I wasn't planning on going up to lunch, but honestly, everything took a little bit longer because I was filming. And honestly, some days, just depending on the schedule, take a little longer to get through tasks. So I had made this salad with tuna in it on this day. And so Logan just had some tuna, cheese, and some fruit. And I, like you saw, had mine in a salad form and we just chomped down together. I gave Logan some kiwi as well. So Dan was coming and going from the house on this morning working on different projects, but at this point, he had actually stepped outside to add a couple of finishing touches to the chicken coop. He's working on, just like I said, finishing touches, tying up all the loose ends on the coop, and we're just very excited for the chickens to move outside into their new home, hopefully in the upcoming weeks. Kind of random, but if you have a toddler and you're looking for some good books, we really enjoy this book and we really enjoy this book series. Yes, the winter book is missing. I It's somewhere in my house. I don't know where, but I just wanted to show you guys these. So the season books, by the way, actually have no words in them, but we really like that because we like just talking about what the pictures are. And I really believe these books helped Logan to kind of wrap his mind around seasons and bring his imagination into it even because the illustrations are just so darling. So at this point, Logan and I sat down to do a little bit of homeschooling. Now, don't get me wrong, I actually consider homeschooling to be like life, like all day, every day. I think kids are learning, but I mean, I feel like that's annoying for me to say, you know what I mean? We're sitting down and we're really like, taking a look at our books. So Logan and I decided to share a poppy seed muffin. He is obsessed with these muffins, dare I say. <laughs> we all are now, honestly. And so we cuddled up on the couch, we ate our muffins, and we read some books. So on this morning, Logan really wanted me to read this Discovery Sharks book for him that I had picked up at the Goodwill. And then I took a look at my Let Them Be Little preschool curriculum. Now I'm just starting to get into this, but it's very cool because you essentially have a year worth of preschool activities mapped out week by week. So after I had read the shark book to Logan for a little bit, he ended up reading on his own for about 10 minutes while I was reviewing the preschool book because I'm still kind of learning some of the games and reviewing the reading list because after visiting our library recently, which is where we got this I is for Idaho book, I realized that a lot of the books that are in the curriculum I'm going to need to check out online ahead of time because they weren't actually in the library when we went to go get them. So I'll be sharing more about the Let Them Be Little preschool curriculum in the future as I get a grasp on it, as I get more of the books, but already I honestly am in love with it. It's like a beautiful little menu of ideas for ways to help educate and excite your toddler every day for school. So it's really great. And I will leave a link to that down below if you just want to check it out now and you don't want to wait for me to share more. And by this point, it was full on snowing. The weather appears amazing because it can dramatically change over the course of a couple of hours, especially because we live at the base of a mountain. So it almost has its own weather system. So Logan loved running outside and getting the snow with his mouth. I can't believe I have an Idaho baby who's like used to the snow. Guys, I'm a SoCal baby. <laughs> Anyways, I hope that you guys liked this video. If you did like it, like I said, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you want to check out my Patreon, that will be linked down below. Thank you again, American Blossom Linens. If you guys want to get 20% off, use the code Nikki20. I will God willing see you guys back here soon with another new video. Bye guys.